Furry falcons are flying. They're having a good time here. Both of them are here. And we're trying to pick up on the site. Looks like they're checking out the old nest site here. All right. Coming in on them. There he is. Look at that, would you? Got our pair of prairie falcons back here. All right. I'll watch him ringing up, soaring around here. Oh, yeah, flying by, just enjoying it. Look at these guys. Getting up in the sky now. Yep, they're having a good time. Oh, yeah. Okay, this one just landed here. I think this is the female. It looked like the bigger one. He was soaring around in the sky there and went over the horizon and over on the other side of the ridge, so he should be coming back. I've zoomed in, tried to see if there's any activity in the nest. I haven't seen any there yet, but we're happy to say they're in the area. We're at uh, mile post 10 at the uh, public fishing area. Canyon Road between Ellensburg and Yakima. And they are definitely here, been here for several years, but they have several sites, so. Last year, like I say, we didn't pinpoint it, but the year before we did, and the year before that, we couldn't pinpoint it. Oh yeah, preening her tail, getting all squared away. All right, a pair of prairie falcons in back in the area. Right. And, yeah. All right, she's kind of looking around like she wants to join him, so we'll see what happens here. Preening up the feathers and getting all squared away. Well, they like it warmed up pretty good now. They're in the sunshine, so. Yeah, the weather's good. There are prairie falcons here sailing around, calling back and forth. And one just landed up here, and the other one is in the potential nest site. I'm going to try to locate it. I saw where he flew down and made a touch and go and a little chatter and then took off. So I'll see if I can uh, zoom in on that site a little bit. They had a job keeping the ravens out of the area. They're kind of pesky. So anyway, we're back here again at um, mile post 10 on the Yakima Canyon Road. And they've been active here before, and we're trying to figure out which nest site they're going to use this year. Alrighty. Well, maybe thinking about taking off here. Had a good display, a good flight, so. Been sitting here for a little bit, trying to impress the mate, so. You can see the breeze is blowing pretty good. Alrighty, well, we'll check around. See what was going on where he did that touch and go. Okay, she's still in the nest. The male flew in one of the auxiliary nests. They flew around. Now look at her look around. This is where the eggs are. Obviously, she's chirping a little bit. You can see her beak going. Settling right down. Look at that. Well, turn around again. Getting all situated. So the eggs are not as far back in as I thought they were. But she can just lay really low in there. I'll back off to give you a perspective here where it's at. And again, it's the same iry as last year, mile marker 10. There you go. This is what you see when you park at mile marker 10 right by the big stump where the beaver chewed it off. You look right straight across pretty much. A little bit to the left of the stump. I'll come in. And you're not all the way to the top. There we go, coming in. Coming in. Coming in, and there. No, still no activity. I have my binoculars out. Saw one fly by, I wonder what it was, a raptor, and it turned out to be a goshawk for crying out loud. Flying upstream, he was up at the top, you know, at the ridge, but 
I couldn't believe it. It was a goshawk. So now I gotta think, where could he possibly be in the canyon here in some good old pine trees or something? Gee whiz. They like Norway pines. They got a lot of good trees, but they have to have a good clump. But I actually saw them, I couldn't believe it. Nice goshawk sailed by. All right, well, we're set up. We're uh, trying to locate the prairie falcon, see if I can see one sitting on the ledge. They haven't had any calls. And of course, we got one in the nest, we think, so I'll zoom in and see if we can get any more uh, movement in here. Oh yeah, there's a wing, look at that. There you go, there's our prairie falcon in the iry. Look at that, would you? My goodness, rousting up at the wing tips up, working the eggs around, sitting back down, shaking back and forth. Well, how great is that? And there's her tail sticking up. There are two wings. So we have a confirmation on this nest site now. Oh yeah, she's just rolling the eggs and getting all situated there. Well, how great is that? Got to see a goshawk fly by, I had my binoculars and check back here and here's our prairie falcon <laughs> moving around. Well, you can see now how clear it is with the filtered light. That's uh, gonna be great. It'll be just like they're on stage when the little ones get up and we'll see what's going on. Well, maybe she'll stick her head up a little bit. Now that shows you there Laying down flat, you just hardly see not a little bit of the head moving there. Got it all situated, doing the incubation now. Again, we're at uh, mile marker 10, Yakima Canyon Road. There's her wing still. She's still working on it, rolling the eggs and getting situated. Oh, she's a busy gal. Still maneuvering around there. Well, we certainly like that. I hear an osprey. Prairie falcon's after him. The mate. Yep. I'll stay focused on the nest. Oh yeah, he was on the perch. He run that osprey off, see? That's in his territory. Well, how about that? Okay, here's the prairie falcon. This is the mate. Just came back from chasing the osprey off. It's easy to spot him now because of, there he goes, because of the light breast. I'll see where he goes now. Get back on the nest, I think. They may be headed back down there to relieve that one. All right, Let's see what we can do here. Come back in on the Irie. Oh yeah. Well, if he was on guard. See, he came back. He did his job. Chased that osprey out of here, and then uh, now we'll see what happens. 